open up your Bibles. We like to put a lot of Bible into our Sunday morning service, whether it's scripture reading, singing scripture songs, or preaching from the Word of God. And a good sermon has a lot of Bible in it, and so I think this is going to be a good sermon today, because it's got a lot of Bible. Romans chapter 11 is where we find ourselves. I hope you are enjoying this study of Romans chapters 9, 10, and 11. And these chapters are filled with doctrine about Israel. Israelology is what you could call the major focus of these three chapters, answering the question of what is the status of Israel currently, and what is the future that God has in store for them. And you might ask yourself, well, I'm not an Israelite, so why should I be so concerned about Israelology? I've got a lot of other practical concerns on my heart and on my mind. And here, I'd like to encourage you with a reminder that the nation of Israel have been and continue to be, through the scriptures that they have given to us, the vehicle of God's revelation. That it's through God's dealings with Israel that God has made himself known to all nations. That you know God because of what God has done through a specific people, a specific nation, a specific family on the earth. And that it's from that family that your Savior Jesus Christ was born. And so understanding Israel is a key to understanding the Bible. The Bible and Israel are, are tied together inseparably. And if you have a misunderstanding of one, then you're going to have some misunderstandings of the other as well. That's why it's so important for us as Gentile believers, as we are, to have these verses, these chapters written to us to...